Okay, so you are sitting down and probably preparing for chemistry right now. And what are those things that you need to make sure that you, you know, uh, you master when it comes to chemistry? Uh, here's my piece of advice. You really want to give attention uh, to organic chemistry. Remember, organic chemistry, cumulatively, question two, question three, and question four constitutes of, um, you know, about a third of your uh, paper two. So, um, and really, chemi uh, organic chemistry is not a bad section. If you really have not mastered it, uh, you can go and look at uh, the playlist that I've curated on organic chemistry. And I've also covered uh, quite a number of questions uh, on it. Okay. Uh, so please make sure that you master that. In organic chemistry, especially on the reactions, they really like the, you know, um, you know, the questions on um, the sodium hydroxide, uh, you know, the difference between the two uh, equations or, or rather uh, reactions where they take sodium hydroxide that is concentrated and on the other one, uh, the sodium hydroxide that is diluted. Uh, please have a look at those two, okay? Uh, so one is an elimination reaction and the other uh, is a, uh, um, a substitution reaction. Okay, so please have a look at those two. And then what you also don't want to do, ladies and gents, is to really try and focus on those higher order stoichiometry questions, right? Um, if you really want to st uh, master stoichiometry, I'd say... There's a playlist that I've curated uh, as well on stoichiometry, right? That will actually help you to understand those eight mark questions on uh, assets and basis, as well as, um, you know, those KC calculations. Please go and have a look at that lesson. But at this point, you really don't want to give a lot of your attention to that, right? My piece of, of advice would be, please make sure that you focus right now on uh, making sure that you've got, uh, you know, just the theory. Uh, say, for instance, you're going to focus on assets and bases. No titration and know what it is uh, in this case when you talk about a standard solution. Uh, know what it is, uh, you know, your definitions, the pH calculations. Uh, that's very, you know, th those calculations are quite easy to make, right? Uh, but if you're going to focus on the eight, nine mark questions, you might easily get yourself discouraged. Okay, um, those are high order questions and sometimes they tend to be a little bit challenging. So you really don't want to give as much attention on that uh, more than you should. Okay, right. Uh, I think sections that I think uh, for me would be easy to collect marks from um, would be electrochemistry, right? Uh, the galvanic cell. Uh, secondly, uh, obviously, as I did mention, organic chemistry, that would be an easy one uh, to really collect marks from, all right? And I think thirdly, um, I would say uh, perhaps um, chemical equilibrium. I know people tend to think that that's difficult, all right? But remember, there's the, um, you know, the applications of Le Chatelier's principles uh, that you can look at okay uh, but um, what I just want to say ladies and gents is that please do not put too much of your energy uh, you know trying to master those high order questions uh, you know uh, much to the detriment of uh, you know those other sections that you can really easily collect marks from okay uh, please have a look at uh, the question papers that I have done I've done November 2022 Okay, on the uh, on the channel. Okay, um, have a look at how I answered uh, some of the questions, and uh, hopefully that will be able to to assist you. Uh, but um, ladies and gents, I want to say all all the best, uh, all of God's best uh, to you if you're going to be writing paper two. Uh, if there's anything else, uh, perhaps that uh, might come up, you know, that I'd want to give to you as advice, uh, I will continue to do so. Uh, otherwise, from me, your favorite uncle, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.